Rainwater Harvesting Part 2 Impact of One School This part of the multi-part series focuses on the positive impact that rainwater harvesting can have on a school such as the one being developed by the Lift Kids organization in partnership with local communities. Specifically, the Bara TR Community Center in rural southern India is in the process of establishing a global water school. The school in turn can have a significant impact on the village by providing both the education and physical collection pieces. Rainwater collection is done through various techniques. The most common approach is rooftop collection systems. Because a school building is typically a larger structure compared to an individual home, more rain can be collected from the rooftop runoff. This rainwater can then be stored in large containers to be used by the school for sanitation and or purified for human consumption such as drinking and cooking. The rainwater can further be conserved by recycling the gray water. Gray water is primarily produced from sink drainage. This gray water along with untreated rainwater can be used for sanitation. Schools that have access to land can also build small water ponds for collecting and storing rainwater during the rainy season. Ponds will be discussed in part three which covers the impact of one community on rainwater harvesting. Beyond the basic necessity of having water during the school day, water for sanitation is one of the biggest problems facing rural schools in the third world. This problem has its greatest impact on girls as it is not uncommon for them to avoid school due to inadequate restroom or sanitation facilities. For the girls that do attend school, they often develop urinary tract infections because they purposefully minimize their water consumption to avoid the need for using the school's inadequate restroom facilities. The school can also be used to educate and empower the community. Through the school's efforts, children will be taught the importance of rainwater harvesting which is simply the collection, storage, and use of rainwater. They will be educated on the benefits of clean water for drinking, cooking, hygiene, and sanitation. Did you know that every 15 seconds a child dies as a result of a water deficiency such as unsafe drinking water, waterborne illness, lack of hygiene, and sanitation? There are an estimated 400,000 children under the age of 5 that die each year due to diarrhea alone as a result of non-potable water. Others become ill from hepatitis A, enteric fever, intestinal worms, and eye and skin infections caused by poor hygiene and unsafe drinking water. In fact, 80% of illnesses in developing countries are linked to poor water and sanitation conditions. Despite the Indian government's best efforts, diarrhea remains the major cause of death among children after respiratory tract infections. By educating the children, we can start to change the knowledge of the village. The children will not only grow up with this knowledge, but they will hopefully pass this information on to their families and other villagers. Here are some of the ways that you can get involved. Become an activist for rainwater harvesting. Get involved with the Global Water School at the Bara TR Community Center in India. Go to liftkids.org, check out the site, and make an online donation or get involved to help a sustainable water harvesting village.